you pushed that switch forward up there just now, you came up. Me? Uh. <laughs> How are you? How are you this morning, Jimmy? Are you switch. okay? Uh -huh. And I came up. What did he? <laughs> I don't know. What did he do? What was that? These mean? are the tools of ignorance. <laughs> A director, you know, the yeah. catcher. They say who that is the. He? This, who is this? Who man? is? Who is this man? Jimmy, how long have you been here? 35 years? About three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean in the whole place? Yeah, uh -huh. well, I came in two weeks after the place started. Two Ed weeks. Servanak was my TD on some of our great shows that Technical we had in the early days. Yeah. And in fact, I think the day Ed was on, you had a picture of Ed. Yes. And, he uh, couldn't believe it. Ed was a fantastic technical director. Now, a technical director is the fellow that pushes that uh -huh. little button that put me on the air. Uh -huh. But Albert is up there now. You saw Albert as we came in. And there's, there's, and, uh, and Albert was our original the director. The there he is, right there. <laughs> Fixing his now, hair. Now you see, Fred. Oh, handsome devil. The day that you said that the director goes up there and you directed Joel over to the news set, yeah. all you had to do was to say, "Take one and take two. And the director uh -huh. just sat there, mm -hmm. and all day long he says, "Take one and <laughs> take two. Now Albert knows that that isn't the truth because <laughs> Albert has been sitting up there. He and I spell each other off. One week Albert does it. And then I do it, and then the other, in between, we do the news segments mm -hmm. of the show. So it's impossible for a man to sit up there for two hours yeah. and go through this and ten years, you know, of doing that. I'm really 34 years old. It's my job makes me look like this, you know. You know, one day when we had uh, the producers, somebody called in and said, what's the difference between a producer and a director? And we had talked very, uh, you know, at length about the producer's yes. jobs, with it because we're in the office right with them. And I know that basically it's up to you guys up there to get us on the air. But I didn't go into any detail, and the job is so important. Well, a director is something like a... Uh, captain on a ship you might say the producers load the ship and put it all together and it's sitting at the dock and they get everything on and say well now this this goes to Akron this goes to Painesville ships go to Akron Painesville oh, yeah, our right. ship does. and anyway then they say take off and from there on the director is leading somebody has to lead and that's the director because if not it's like a quarterback coming up to the line of scrimmage you know and he sees the whole especially on this show you know this is a two-hour show and it's the only two-hour show in the country that is ad lib for two hours. Everything else is, is exactly scripted. scripted or done ahead of time. You know, in the early days, I'd have to do this whole show and the clock ran me out. In fact, we had one show one time, the Pee Wee King show. It was on the network, 80 minutes or something like that. But it was live and we had to get off. But now if you do a network show, uh, they script the whole show. Yeah. But now we have show, a format. We have a script. Yes. So you have a that's, guideline. That's the trouble sometimes. But the mo but for the most part we kind of fly, don't we? Yes. You see, could I? I bought my headset with me. Could I give you a little demonstration sure. of a director mm -hmm. on the morning exchange? As I say, there's Albert holding. Oh, there's ho this Albert's show. Holding his yes, Albert. Right there. We get that in the morning, and it tells us exactly what's going to happen. It even has the times on there. Eight fifteen. Now, we know that this show is going to start at eight o'clock. So I'll show you at 8 o'clock. All right, we have uh, 30 seconds before the show. Are you all set down there on the floor? I'm talking to the floor director, to the manager. All set, Pat? And Pat says yes. And I turn over and uh, I say to the audio man that's down there, everything all set for the opening now? Yes, fine. And then I, the technical director, I say, Bob, everything set? Yes, okay. Stand by in the studio. There's Bob. Roll it. And Bob rolls it, and we're on the show. From there on, it's every man for himself. <laughs> That's the only part you can yes. count on? Now I'll say, okay, now the first guest, what did you say? The first guest isn't here. Would you please take that tape out? Take three. Would you please take that? No, the guest isn't here. Put up X-17, yes. Would you stop the audio on that? Because they want the kill. Take three. Yes, all right. Super his name. You don't have his name. Smith? S-M-I-T-H. Yes, take three. Okay, dissolve through to four. Right, Fred, tell Fred to sit down. Fred is walking across the set in front of the guest. I can't get a shot of that. Yes, Fred, sit. Okay, Jan is gone. She was supposed to interview this guest. What? Take three. Okay, roll 15. 15's down. Forget it. Get some other guest on there. Okay. There is no other guest. Back talk. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Yes. 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 All right. Ready. Hut, 
Now, that's the opening of the show. From there on, it gets wild. Uh -huh. Oh, Jimmy, that was wonderful. <laughs> oh, yes. That's but, the truth, too, isn't uh, it? Yes, it is. As I say, Albert and I are so thankful that we get this week to start breathing. And as I say, when I saw you the other day say, the director sits up there and says, take one, take two. Albert and I said, where's he been? Until you've walked in a director's shoes for 14 moons, you'll never realize why I'm great. Mm -hmm. It's but, wild. Yes, it is. But you do a magnificent job, and I can imagine there's so much frenzy that goes on down here, live, and it all has to be fed to you, and you're the one who has to make it right. Yes, but the whole thing about this whole show, and as I say, it's the only one in the United States like this, and it's the only place it could work. Yeah. And it's because of the chemistry between the people that are on this show. And I say it's like doing a ball game because your cameraman and everybody say, well, if this happens, this is, and they sort of are ready for you. If they something anticipate happens, everything, don't Yes, and you people here anticipate things that are going on upstairs, and it would be impossible. And the big thing, there are no stars on this show. You people are so fantastic to work with, and the, the producers and the like. And we've all meshed, and the show couldn't last that long if it, unless it had these people, the, the floor directors, the people upstairs, and the tape room. We've got two tape rooms that have quarter-inch tape and two-inch tapes, and those people have to have those tapes. As I say, they got to say, pull it down, put it up, and they pull it down within mm -hmm. seconds. Mm -hmm. And then when they go like that, that Which means they're doing that right now. get rid of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, wrap it up. Have a look back well, at Fred. You've seen Jimmy here and, and Albert up there, who have been our directors uh, from the beginning. Albert, of this I told broadcast. it like it was. There's Albert There's up there now. Mm -hmm. And okay. he said, my gosh. I'm exhausted just listening <laughs> so to you. So am I. Get the hook. Get the hook. All right, All right. we'll pause yes, for a minute. Yes, I right quit back. out. <laughs>